Good morning, kids. It is Friday, June 4th, and today we are going to do some reading. I am in section seven of your new homework pack. And this first story, this should be on the first page here. It's called Rabbit Laughs. So first of all, let's just read through this. Rabbit Laughs. Long ago, there lived a rabbit. Rabbit had a field. It was filled with weeds. Rabbit wanted to plant food, so she had to get rid of the weeds. All right, so this is just the first paragraph. It tells you who the characters in the story are. It tells you the setting of the story, where we are. And it tells you a little bit about the problem that we have in this story. What do we think is going to happen? Rabbit wanted to plant food, and she has to get rid of these weeds. What are weeds? Weeds are unwanted plants, and you get these a lot in your garden or if you have a farm. So you need to get rid of them. You want to get them out of there. So um, let's continue. Uh, rabbit's trying to plant food, probably some nice vegetables. Let's get rid of these weeds. All right. But Rabbit was lazy. She did not want to pull up the weeds. Rabbit thought of a plan. She got a rope. She walked to one side of the field. There she found a big hippo. I bet I can pull harder on this rope than you, Rabbit told Hippo. Just hold one end, wait until I start to pull. Then Rabbit took the other end of the rope. She walked to the other side of the field. There, she found an elephant. I bet I can pull harder than you, Rabbit said. Just hold this rope until I start to pull. Rabbit went to the middle. She gave a tug on the rope. Hippo and elephant began to pull on each end. They pulled hard. The rope went this way and that. It cut down the weeds. Soon, the weeds were gone. Rabbit hopped over to Hippo. Thanks, she said. Then she hopped back to Elephant. Thanks, she said. Elephant and Hippo asked, but who is pulling the other end of the rope if you are hopping? How Rabbit laughed. Ha 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 ha. All right, so this is just a short little story here. Let's try and answer these questions. Number one, where does this story take place? A sea, a mountain, a field, a zoo. Well, I think we should be able to tell that this is in a field, but let's go back and check, all right? Once again, if you're looking for the setting of the story, where we are, it's generally in the first paragraph. They'll let you know who's in the story, the rabbit, and it'll let you know the setting where we are. Rabbit had a field. So yes, we are definitely in a field. Fields have plants, fields have weeds. All right, and then question two here. What's Rabbit's problem? Well, as I just said, Rabbit has a bunch of weeds here, okay? So stories are generally boring unless we have some sort of problem, okay? So. Rabbit wanted to plant food, so she had to get rid of the weeds. That is Rabbit's problem. So let's try and make a full sentence here. All right, Rabbit wants, with an S, All right, so here's my sentence. Rabbit wants to plant food, but there are weeds in her garden. We went over there is and there are the other week, but just to make sure, I'm talking about more than one weed, weeds, so I use there are, okay? We have lots and lots of weeds. All right, and then generally in a story, after we have a problem, 
we try to solve that problem. Okay, what does Rabbit do to solve her problem? Well, let's check this out. It seems like she plays a trick on the elephant and the hippo, okay? Uh, Rabbit says he, uh, she wants to do a tug of war, all right? Tug of war meaning people pulling each side of the rope here, but she's saying obviously a hippo or an elephant is much bigger than a rabbit. So um, they pull hard and then she cuts down the weeds. Well, she doesn't cut down the weeds, but the elephant and the hippo do. And they, uh, they are asking at the end of the story here, they say, but if, but who's pulling the other end of the rope if you are hopping? And then of course, rabbit says, ha ha ha, rabbit laughs, okay? So which word best describes rabbit? Sad, helpful, mad, or tricky, all right? Well, it seems like rabbit is playing a trick on these other animals. I would describe rabbit as tricky. Do we know any synonyms of the word tricky? We learned some adjectives before, like crafty and cunning. Those are both synonyms of the word tricky, okay? People who like to play tricks on other people. 